Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com and I'm thrilled to introduce today M-Transition Whip Cut. M-Transition Whip Cut brings a dynamic and energetic style to your edits with seamless whip cut transitions, perfect for adding that extra flair to your videos, whether you're working on action scenes, vlogs, or promotional content. With a simple drag and drop, you can transform your cuts into exciting, fast-paced sequences. And of course, each transition is customizable, allowing you to adjust the speed, direction, and the style to match your creative vision. All right, on to the tutorial. Once you've installed M Transition Whip Cut via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions. If you scrub over each of these, you can get a real-time preview as to how they're going to look in your canvas. M Transition Whip Cut comes with 50 unique transitions that are all going to have that whip cut look, feel, and style. To apply, simply click and drag in between two clips. Now, some of these transitions are going to come with on-screen controls and some won't. So it just really depends on the transition that you're applying. In this transition, we have only this information over here in our inspector. So we have a transition mode for blur cut or cut blur. And then we have additional published parameters in blur amount, the style of blur, either horizontal or vertical, and the shake and shake strength. All right, so why don't we show you one of these transitions that have some on-screen controls. So let's come down and we can find our mask zoom. I'm gonna click and drag that in between our two clips. Using my arrows, I'm just gonna kind of move forward and you can see how that is moving. And you see this little dot here and that is our on-screen control. I would like this circle to go into our ball there. So I'm just gonna use that and kind of center it up. And you can see that we're revealing the ball on the other side in that next clip. So we're going to push forward. Maybe I do need to move that over just a little bit more so that it seems like it's going at the ball. Boom. And then we are revealing the next clip. So if you did want to keyframe this, that is really easy to do. So I'm actually going to set that center on my ball because our ball is moving. And you can see mask start position. I'm going to set a keyframe here. Use my arrow to move over. And then I'm going to move over again so that we're covering that ball over again a little bit more and now that circle is kind of following that ball there as it's moving across the frame and you can see how easily that was done we can use our overdrive here so let's click and drag in between these two clips move forward just so we can see how that is using our footage in our inspector we have the overdrive anchor we can do a lower left uh, lower right upper left or upper right and then we also have the overdrive range so we can click and drag this section here and then intensity and shake so again these are built really really easily so that you can just quickly apply these and get moving so let's just grab some we can bring those in and see how those are looking, just pulling them in to add some energy to our cuts. So you can see how quickly we were able to add that energy with M Transition Whip Cut with a very minimal amount of work so that you can do what you do best and that is get out there and film and edit. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. We would love to communicate with you. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.